Maybe my favorite myth to bust is gastric residuals. Do you want to do you want to tell us about oh, those? Yeah. <laughs> we know to medical ICU patients there is no need do not check gastric residuals. And that goes back to one of the other Nutria trials where they looked at the incidence of aspiration pneumonias and other complications in patients who had gastric residuals checked versus those that didn't. And there was no difference except for the people who had GRVs checked were fed really poorly. So basically checking acid residuals doesn't help your patient other than it leads to them being starved. Now, in the patient who's had GI surgery or in a burn patient, I do check them. Now, only meaningful cutoff is 500. I don't want people saying, oh my God, it was zero before we feed them 10 cc's an hour. Now there's 350. You know, the stomach makes two layers a day. I mean, but none of those numbers have been shown to be a risk to the patient. 500 is a cutoff. I do like them in the big abdominal surgery and burn patients because they're a marker of dysfunction like a leak or sepsis or an abscess formation or other things. But if you do not check them in the medical setting, I think in abdominal surgery in the burn setting, it's probably worth it. But the 500, nothing less, needs to be the cutoff. There's multiple trials and meta-analyses that support that. But yes, that is a major cause of poor feeding. It takes an act of God to start two feeds and the nurse going to lunch to stop them.